What's up, Nail Geeks, and welcome back to another Little Box of Horrors video. This time we have the theme True Blood, and I remember when it was on, or rather when it was new to HBO many years ago, my husband and I just fell in love with the show. It's a little raunchy. It's a little just, I mean, it's just, it's everything I think I could want in a vampire story, um, including the two main uh, male characters. Very nice is all I will say. So this time I've got quite a few to show you all and uh, we've got a bit to check out. So without further ado, let's dive right in. First up is Chameleon Nails. This is Beyond Human, described as a black jelly base filled with pink, orange, green, shifting Aurora shimmer and pink reflective glitters. This is going to be $13.50 with a cap of five zero bottles. So we have a jelly formula here. This packs a punch for opacity as you build it up. I'm gonna suggest going to three light coats. The formula is on the more dense side just because it's packed full of those wonderful glitters. Now there is a bit of shimmer here. I think as you get it to a full opacity, you'll see this inner glow that has a soft pink look to it. The orange and green shift, in my opinion, is on the more subtle side. You will see it at very extreme angles, but what's going to catch your eyes the most is this beautiful, glittery, vampy finish. It's very lovely. Definitely one you want to see in person. Build it up slow. Finish with a glossy top coat and a glitter smoothing top coat as this will dry down thirsty and textured. And here is Chameleon's next installment. This one's Bleeding Roses, described as a tri-thermal going from plum when cold to rose when warm to colorless, almost sheer white when very warm. It's filled with pink, purple, blue iridescent flakes and pink to green UCC flakes. This one's $13.50 as well and is also capped at 50 five zero bottles. So I've said it before and I'll say it again, Chameleon's thermals are incredibly sensitive. I haven't had to kickstart any of them really and Bleeding Roses is no exception. I saw all three colors on my nails. And at this point I was keeping my falsies on the shorter side. I do think that it is so incredibly reactive that you're going to see a lots and lots of temperature changes on your nails, especially this time of year, as we are going through all kinds of warm and cold phases in this health here. I'm going to suggest three coats. It does have a milkier type of finish to it and a thicker glossy top coat. You don't need a glitter smoother per se, but I think just a thicker glossy will be just fine to get those flakes to gloss out. And here is the next chameleon. This month we have four. This is part fairy described as a thermal going from blue when cold to colorless to sheer white when warm, filled with pink hollow glitters, as well as blue to purple opalescent glitters in various sizes. This is also 1350 with cap of 50. This is really fun, very springy. I think three coats is perfect. Go in light as this is a sheer type of finish and what's gonna really build you to an opacity is the cold state. Very reactive there. I did finish with a glitter smoothing top coat and a glossy top coat as this does have texture and a bit of thirstiness from the glitters. It's very pretty. And given that we have that milky white-ish sort of state, I do think there's a touch of versatility with this. And next is Chameleon's final polish in this uh, True Blood series. This one is Unbreakable Bound, described as a juicy red jelly base filled with red hollow glitters and red metallic glitters in various sizes. Same price and cap as the other three. This is truly a juicy red polish. It built so well and I was very worried that you as the viewer would not see what I'm seeing in person for color accuracy as reds typically give me a lot of headaches when it comes to uh, recording and all that stuff. But I think this is pretty close to what I'm seeing in person. This is a juicy, vampy, bloody sort of red. It's very pretty and it's so packed full of glitters. It has this wonderful twinkle. I took it slow and a little more extra on my full hand shot there just so you can see how much sparkles it is. Now, in terms of the type of red tone, please note uh, to pay attention to my actual video portion for color accuracy, as again, reds give me trouble. I think it was coming off just a bit more tomato-ish than how truly vampy it is in person. So full hand shot will give you that idea. And Jen and Barry brings us bad things. This is described as a fine linear hollow with midnight blue shimmer. This one's going to be $12.50 with a cap of $125. It's funny that all of these little inspos and their names and stuff is like bringing back so many memories of when my husband and I watched this show. It was 
quite a few years ago and I just the, the theme bad things is just it's it's like stuck in my head now and I can't unhear it Anyways, Bad Things has a wonderful, beautiful, creamy formula. This is a chef's kiss hollow. It's vibrant, and I love that in indoor lighting, you'll see that beautiful blue shimmer against that black base. But in the sunlight and kitchen lights and those public bathroom lights, you'll see a ton of hollow. So truly well done, shimmery hollow. And Jen and Berries is also bringing us I'd Wear Him Like a Scrunchie. This is described as a neon jungle green with a super subtle hollow shimmer and a sprinkle of hollow flakes. This one's 13 with a cap of 125. This color is so flattering. I love, love, love it. I think it's gonna do so well for a spring and a summer color. It's such an unusual green. I really, really, really liked it. It's almost like a jade green, but not quite in person. I do think my full hand shot here is giving you a good idea. It is so popping on me. I think it is gonna be a universally flattering type of green. I think three light to normal coats and a glossy top coat will do this one the best. And here is Luna Lacquer Suke. I was joking that um, when my husband and I were watching the show, we'd always say that we'd say Suke and then be like, Bill, but anyways, so uh, Suke is um, a dark blue base with gold to green shifting magnetic pigment and hollow flakes. This one's 12 with a cap of 100. That's so funny. Anyways, this has a very opaque formula, easy to build up. I always say go in extra ham when you're doing magnetics so you have lots and lots of pigment to work with when you magnetize it. And this is so metallic smooth. I thought two coats was perfect amount of polish to get a strong effect. Go in with a glossy top coat to smooth this out because it will have a bit of a flat dry down because it's so packed full. I love this one. It's so contrasting. Full hand shot gives you an idea of how much movement is in the magnetic particles. And it's just flattering all around. I really enjoyed it. And even though it's got that heavier formula, I was pleasantly surprised that the magnetic top coat worked so well. And here is Night Owl Lacquer. This is Maybe I Wear Too Much Pink. Described as a neon pink curly with various sizes of black shreds. This is 12 with no cap. So I know this is going to skew across everyone's monitors, your phones, your tablets, what have you. So just for the record, in person, this is a bubblegum neon pink. It's a true neon pink. It's very vibrant, very flattering. I love neon colors and I just so enjoyed it. However, I know it's just, it's looking like it's got some kind of funky cast on my monitor. So anyways... I would do two coats with this one and a glitter smoother and glossy top coat to plump it out. Be careful on this one as the flakes are of the heavier size. So I would really caution you against overloading the polish in layers and just stopping at two coats. And here we've got Paradox Polish and Wicked Polishes Duo. This is for the Crackle Polish from Wicked Polish. And then we have the Cream Baby Vamp to wear as an undie. The cream itself is a wonderful formula. It's a one coater, super ultra smooth on application and is a really just flattering color in general. And it dries down glossy too. Now the Wicked Crackle Polish here is a very multi-chrome one. This is a uh, hair pulling really. And this one is a red copper gold multi-chrome with some chameleon flakes to it. Now with crackle polishes, you'll wanna go in either light or heavy. If you go heavy, you'll get the bigger, chunkier types of crackle here. If you go in light, you'll have more of the fine types of flaking action for the crackle effect. This will dry down incredibly, incredibly flat. So I used two coats of glossy top coat here. So your preference, if you wanna do a glitter smoother and a glossy top coat, whichever way, the duo itself looks fantastic together and the crackle polish is very, very shifty. And finally, we've got Zombie Claw. This is Do I Have Blood in My Hair? Described as a black when cold to red when hot thermal with gold to red shimmer. This one's 1350 with a cap of 75 bottles. Now the thermal properties to this one, in my opinion, I think the cold and the warm state are in the same color family. Personal opinion, I think it's a touch more subtle in the thermal property. In a moment here on my full hand shot, you'll see it. I think the shimmer pops in both the cold and the warm states, but my full hand shot here, you can see what I mean. It's not the most in your face, warm to cold shift, I should say, but they're in the same color family, if that makes sense. I would suggest two to three 
coats, depending on the length of your free edge and a good glossy top coat as this does dry down pretty flat. And we're gonna finish with the Willet Topper segment. This is where I use a black swatch stick to demonstrate if polishes have layering capabilities. Okay, so Chameleon's polishes are all jellies, all four of them. So of course they work. Beyond Human is so stunning in person. I'm telling you, it is sparkle heaven. So of course that works, it just vamped it out. Now the Thermals Part Fairy and Bleeding Roses, I showed you guys these over white. I do think it works. If you wanted it to look more like a cream on either of the polishes here, I think that, yeah, a light color would work great. You'll just want to be really careful because if you go too dark or even contrasting, you'll get that jelly effect and either muddy up the colors or you won't be able to see the cold state, if that makes sense, over super dark. So I would stick with white. And Unbreakable Bound looks so nice. It's very much like Beyond Human, just sparkle action, really, really vampy glitter topper look. Now, Bad Things. I love this polish so much. It's such a beautiful linear hollow. It is a bit of dehorning a unicorn. I don't know how to feel about it. I do like it. I think that the black undie amplifies the blue shimmer here, but I don't know, your preference. And then I'd wear him like a scrunchie. It does work, shockingly, it does work. I personally would not layer it over super dark colors. I would only layer it over matchy match greens. Luna's works very well. I guess you would want to do this if you wanted to conserve your bottle, but honestly, I just, it's so opaque and beautiful by itself. You're taking away the non-magnetized appearance color. So I don't know, I wouldn't topper that. Night Owls, same thing, this is like, I don't personally like this. I think it's too creamy in person. So I would say it does not pass the test. And Zombie Claw, eh, sort of. I think you can see the cold and the warm state still, even on the white color. But I just feel like it's almost milky looking over white and light colors. So I would also say this one, you should stick to wearing it by itself. So the pre-order style is going to start pretty soon. It's going to go live February 18th at 1 p.m. And it's going to run until March 1st at 12.59 a.m. Mountain Time. I will link you guys below to the Little Box of Horrors Facebook group if you want to get in there and see other goodies that are going to be available this month. And I'll also link you to the website on where to purchase too. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.